Our top focus this morning in one of the worst violence seen in decades. The Lebanese capital had turned into a war zone for almost four hours. Fierce gun battle broke out in a port city of Beirut. Army tanks have rolled in. Ambulance sirens were wailing across the city and evacuations were carried out by police and civilians. All this after gunshots were fired at protesters demonstrating outside the city's palace of justice. Gunshots were seen coming out from the rooftops of nearby buildings. Snipers were reported on the top floors of the high-rises along the streets. This is Beirut's Tione neighborhood, a Shiite suburb. The interior minister has confirmed that six people have been killed, all of them by gunshots, and the Lebanese Red Cross put the number of wounded at 30. في ضحايا في المعلومات لحد هلا عندنا ست قتلى حوالي 16 جريح موزعين على المستشفيات اكيد صرتوا بتعرفوهم وبتعرفوا اسمائهم اكدنا بالحفاظ على السلم الاهلي اكثر واكثر اتخاذ كافه الاجراءات والتوقيفات لحتى نقدر نستوعب الوضع Several loud bangs were heard in the area, likely from heavy shelling. Plumes of black smoke were rising from an apparent fire. The fire was seen raging off from shops, vehicles and buildings. Residents cow cowered in corridors away from windows as some were shattered by the gunfire. Some scurried outside, running towards ambulances in defence. Volunteers tried to evacuate civilians, including young children. People were caught stranded and terrified on the streets, running to find their acquaintances. Civilians were seen helping each other to find a safe shelter away from the gunfire exchanges between army and unknown attackers. A limp body was seen lying on the main street after the attacks. It was soon carried away by rescuers as gunfire rained around them. As soon as the attacks were reported, the army was deployed to the neighborhood Tanks rolled into the suburbs and evacuations began here. The army started firing at the suspected buildings which were reported to be the source of the gunshots. They warned that the residents had to steer clear of the buildings and started raiding them one by one. And after hours of fire exchange, guns went silent and an undeclared truce was seen on the streets of Beirut. Videos and pictures have been circulating on social media of children hiding in schools. These videos show panic-stricken children in a nearby school, ducking under desks, gathering on the floor outside the classrooms and waiting for their parents. Children were later picked up from the schools by their parents. Children had gathered in hallways in emergency after hearing the gunfire. Teachers and children had to be evacuated to the lower level floors. ونطرنا وصار يجوا الأهل يهدوا أولادهم أكيد صار في زعر وصار في خوف عند الكل كان الأولاد صار في بكي وصار هي Meanwhile, Lebanon's Prime Minister said that the violence was a setback but would be overcome. He added that his cabinet was working to provide the International Monetary Fund with the necessary financial figures ahead of talks to pull the country out of its economic meltdown. مما لا شك فيه انها نكسه حصلت يعني لا 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 يجوز المكابره ولكن حتما رغبتنا ان نتجاوزها لانه الهدف بالنتيجه اللي حنوصل لها بالتعاون مع الجميع وانا اكيد اكيد وعلى يقين ان كل اللبنانيين بدهم يوصلوا للنتيجه الايجابيه اللي عم نحكي عنها Remember, Lebanon's financial system collapsed in 2019 due to decades of corruption and massive financial mismanagement. The country has lost over 90% of its value in the last two years and World Bank has called the economic meltdown as one of the deepest depressions in modern history. 
The IMF talk stalled last year after the previous government drew up a financial recovery plan that mapped out losses of some $90 billion in the financial sector. The figure was endorsed by the IMF, but many of Lebanon's main political players disputed the scale of the losses. The current Prime Minister did not reveal whether there was a new figure for the losses. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.